Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please sign up for my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com so you're sure to get the latest posts. Also, don't forget to sign up for my YouTube channel so you're sure to get the latest videos delivered directly to your inbox. All right, uh, yesterday I did a video showing you how to protect your Excel charts when someone's trying to insert rows or insert columns or delete rows or delete columns. Uh, but uh, we were using array formulas, and what I forgot to mention uh, is how we can go about modifying these array formulas uh, when you want to get rid of them. So I had a user ask, how do I get rid of these array formulas after creating them? So let me uh, go ahead and take off some of the highlighting here so that you can kind of see what's going on. Change this back. So. Um, what we did is we did an array formula in column A. We also did an array formula from B1 through G1. We did an array formula from H1 through H15. And finally, we did an array formula from B15 to G15. Now, you'll see I've put different numbers in each one of these. And if you look at that video before, you'll see uh, how we set these up. It's pretty simple with uh, uh, the Control shift enter uh, but there's a reason that I did it the way I did. Uh, if you want to get rid of these, so you can see if I ever want to delete this, I'm going to get an error. It says you cannot change part of an array. Uh, if I try and delete the column, I'm going to get that same error. You cannot change any part of an array. Uh, no matter what you do, it's really hard to get rid of them, even if you just want to clear them out. Uh, how you want to clear them out is you want to, you have to clear out the entire array. So if I wanted to get rid of the ones in column one, I have to highlight that entire array area range and just hit the delete key. Look at that, it's gone now. Uh, so now I could delete um, this information, edit it however you want. Uh, likewise, if I highlight this part of two, hit delete. Um, so the, that is the reason that I went when I created the array, and I forgot to mention this in yesterday's post, I gave them different numbers for every single one of the arrays that I've done. If I had done ones all the way around, I wouldn't have known if I did from A1 to H1, uh, or if I had done it just to G1. Uh, likewise, did I do A2 down to A15, or was it A14? So I put different numbers in these so I know exactly where my array is, so that I can just come in here, hit delete, come over here, hit delete. See, I'm highlighting the ranges hitting the delete key. If we go over to H, notice if I just hit the delete key on not the entire range, I'm going to get that error. Even if I get the whole range but one cell, I'm going to get the error. You cannot change part of the array. So uh, to get rid of them, you have to find the exact range that you created for that array. Hit your delete key. Now we can uh, go in and delete all sorts of rows. We can delete all sorts of columns. This, of course, is going to give us errors in our dashboard like I showed you yesterday. So that's why we're adding those array formulas around our cell range data for our chart. So hopefully that helps uh, show you how to get rid of those. Sorry I didn't show you that yesterday, but pretty simple trick. You just got to make sure you highlight the exact part of the array uh, and hit your delete key and you can get rid of those or you can add them back pretty quickly. Uh, so once again, this is Steve Equals True at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. Please sign up for my blog as well as my YouTube channel and uh, the next post is coming soon.